what I, what I wanted to talk about was was yeah the CDs and student accommodation. Chris, the connection is my argument is that there's no retail space needed for selling CDs anymore. Um, well, not a lot, not a lot, not as much as there used to be, because music is streaming. So, yeah. if education goes online or learning goes online, will we need the same number of lecture halls and libraries and student accommodation? People won't have to come to Exeter to benefit in some sort of way. No, I suppose that's true. Um, so, w if you have a good historical look at what happened with music, because it didn't happen straight away, did it? It took quite a long time to go online. Um, maybe it'll take just as long for the campus to disappear. But having said all of that, you have to face the fact that HMV is coming back again in reportedly in reports of Oxford Street. Yeah. Uh, it, I, w I went and had a look. Did you? I did. It's not there yet. It's still a sweet shop. Well, but by the time we go back, it might be there. Well, it might. Yeah, so we're going to go to Bet in January. Uh, yeah. And we will go to uh, to we'll get the Elizabeth line goes from Paddington to Custom House. Yeah. But it also stops at Bond Street. Yeah. So we will be able to check exactly what's going on. Okay. But we'd like to know in the meantime. But I think that. Um, you see, the other thing is, you, you may remember that I, I, I put us forward for guest editing the Today programme. Yeah. I remember that. They haven't come back to us. No. So I don't think we got the job. I think you could say that as a safe bet. Because uh, that was supposed to be in August sometime. Yeah. But um, when I went to have a look, I, w I went round to... Um, the, the BBC's place and I went and had a look at uh, where the Virgin Megastore used to be and that's definitely not coming back no. there was no sign of the Virgin Megastore well um, I think Virgin Megastore went bust <laughs> well yeah but that's my point though Chris you see what what I want the what I want the the um, today program to do, or, or anybody to do it really, but if they if they have a business bit about half past no quarter past six, let's say, so they could say, well, what happened with um, office space? And actually, there was something on the World Service which says that people don't need as much office space as they used to because they're working at home, but yeah. when they do go to the office, they want it to be a good meeting spot. Yeah. So you could have that about quarter past six, and then about quarter past seven, another business section looking at retail, and that would say uh, there's there's not as much retail space needed. And um, I'd like them to go to where the Virgin Megastore was and confirm that there is no Virgin Megastore, and then go to Tower Records, Piccadilly Circus. I've heard the Tower Records. Uh, but they're not there either. Oh. So it's only just because it seems to me the more you, the more evidence there is that something happened with sound and music. Well, it's about rough trade. Well, rough trade still exists. Okay. I think they do have a retail shop. I don't know where do you think it is. I don't know. We ought to find that out. Yeah. But that's selling vinyl. JD. I think. No, I think Rough Trade sells CDs as well. I wonder which of them they sell. We'll have to we'll have to discover this. So okay, we want that. So so my idea of the t Today program then 
Well, we'll have to find out where Rough Trade is, whether they could get to it within three hours from Broadcasting House, okay. wherever it is. But if they can't do it, we'll go and have a, go and have a go at it. Yeah. Um, but then, then I'd like them to go go back to Broadcasting House via. Well, it's now a sweet shop, but it, just to see if HMV are there or not. It, I don't think they will be there by August. No. Uh. Um, but then I went into HMV in Exeter, and I asked them if they knew when HMV was going to start. They don't know. They've not heard. Okay. But when I said I'd I'd heard that there will be no compact discs in the Oxford Street HMV, they didn't think that was very likely. No. Um, so it's not going to be just merchandise. Yeah. But what what's what strikes me is that if we wanted to do a video about um where the mega stores used to be in HMV we could do some of it in London but we could we could sort of do one with the Exeter HMV and ask them to pretend to be in Oxford Street that's not too big a a, a leap is it for the way movies are made because they, they, they would be much the same, maybe not on as big a scale, but we could go in there and ask them um, what they think about Oxford Street or how the record shop came back again or, yeah. how, or how Rough Trade might survive. I think Rough Trade is doing quite a lot of vinyl. Yeah. Might be why they need a shop, but we'll find that out as well. Um because it's it just means that the, the the story is more complicated and maybe the the campus will adapt in some way and survive um, at the moment it's just carrying on as if the lockdown didn't happen I think I think it's just gone back to normal so Chris you have been doing your research I have, and I found HMV in Oxford Street has an opening time, but you said it wasn't open on Saturday. So. No, it's a sweet shop, it's Candy World or something like that. Yeah. I asked them, they said they didn't know about this HMV business. So, But you say that you've asked Google and Google says it's there. Yeah, Google said... Uh, I can read you the okay. exact address. This is from a real phone, I can see that, yeah. So the exact address is... Uh, I'll have to go... Oh, that's the wrong one. The exact address is... Um... Oxford Oh um that's uh yeah um I'm wrong. Oh <laughs> what's it really saying then? <laughs> well uh that's Oxford and oh, oh. HMV actually in Oxford. Oh, it's the HMV in Oxford. That one's open. Yeah, yeah that could be right. Yeah. Um, it says... Um, this is the Century Old Music Shop chain shut its flagship store in 2019 after going into administration it was then taken over by Sunrise Records it's said to the return to 363 Oxford Street were due to a dramatic turnaround 
we'd hate him be running, returning to profit in 2022 and this article was released on the 26th of April 23. Right. So, well, I think if anybody knows, or if anybody goes goes through Oxford Street and sees it open, we'd like to know. Yeah. But meanwhile, for video purposes, I think we're going to have to ask the Exeter HMV to let us pretend that it's whenever it is that they thought it might be before Christmas, because they sell lots of records and stuff at Christmas time. Yeah, that makes sense. So, we'll do a video, it'll actually be in Exeter over the summer, but we'll pretend it's Oxford Street at Christmas time. That's not too peculiar, is it? Uh, Stranger things have happened. Quite peculiar. Oh, well, we could, try, we could try something like that anyway. JD, you think it all went, it all changed earlier than that? I think so, I think... The whole concept of records and all those sort of things went downhill quite rapidly. They thought of changing it to something smaller, so us budding DJs don't have to do so much work. But um, you, we lost the skill. So, so that was that was the compact disc. No, that was the actual re real record. Oh, the record went the record went smaller. Yeah, the real records, and the forty fives. The it and went the thirty three and thirds. And the 78s for the you older people. Yeah. So I when, when are you saying it went wrong? I'm trying to put a date on it, JD. I'm well. I'm thinking it's it's the uh, well for us DJs it's the skill. Yes, I know that you keep mm. saying that, but but when are you saying it was the the the, the 78 records that were skillful? The or was it the 45s? The 78 were records were around in the war, World War II because yes. I had a, a machine which was dated in that time. So, <laughs> but I wasn't alive. No. Um, but no. it's, uh, to me, it's uh, the c collection really. So people like collecting records. Yes. And I had, did have a lot of 45 records to my collection, which I got rid of. Um, but I transferred them all onto uh, cassette or the next thing down the line, go and buy them, like rebuy them again. So you have to keep up with the flow of what the technology is, I think. Yes. And the technology is, I think, is uh, actually got lazier because you're not doing so much in the studio at the moment. Well, I've I've been I've been in a total panic. Although it's a digital, <laughs> digital, <laughs> it's a digital studio, but I can't log on to Twitter. Well, it's, to me, it says there's a security risk, and then, <laughs> I, then I don't know the format of the phone number. I've got to check out with it. Well, I mean, if it, you if you pull up on onto uh, YouTube or whatever, yeah, on, and you look at somebody doing a mix on turntables, and you can see how much work. Oh you yes, did, you can see what and the much, skill of, yes. of, of making sure that the records. But you're saying start the, di up. the digital shows just come together. Digital is so anyway. easy because it's you push a button, it starts. There you go. Oh, so CDs, you push and the a button. Robot, the to robot's go. going to make it even easier. Yeah. They'll put a show together like this. Yes, you can. We'll, you play, we'll play them 17 old wild shows, and, <laughs> and right. a new one will appear. Right. As if by magic, much the same. Yeah. You reckon? Yeah, I think so, yes. It's, a, it's at the moment, you see, if you. Um, I've been listening to some of my old, old records my old yes. recordings yes and um i, I said well, my my style hasn't tra changed no it's just the the skill has changed the skill of how you present the record right because you don't put the record right when the start of the music or you get uh, <laughs> <laughs> at the beginning. yeah but that's and, okay. and that was the thing well which, that's a skill that you have Joe, of mixing <laughs> things together but I, I have to yeah and the cassette the cassettes was the same thing you couldn't hmm. get it right on cue on the cassette well you could just pause it yeah I you mean, could my, pause, my, my pause style it. started then with the pause button you can pause it and use the numbers yes right but it's not as quick to get no. to the next one you see what I mean no I do so uh, whereas what you're sitting in now you can push a button and you go on to the next track very quickly yes yeah well but 
And I would like to contribute something. Really? To yes. That. Yes. Is it old fashioned? I, I can't do records. The way they use Oh, no. So he so can't do records. So it has three CDs. But records yes, are fairly so easy, really. Because well, I anyway, do look, have lots look, um, of right, CDs. Chris, I've got to interrupt you because it's 26 minutes past. 26 I'm minutes. contractually obliged to pass over to you at 10.30. <laughs> yeah. I've got a four-minute chat here. So we're going to have to we'll come back to this later on. Yeah. 